Hi, in this video I would like to walk you through the technique for analyzing a video in Logger Pro. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is open Logger Pro and go to Insert Movie. So the movie that I'm interested in I've already placed on my desktop. There it is right there. And there it is. And so you'll see here that, let me see if I can make this a little bigger for you. That keeps the aspect ratio locked. Okay, so you'll see down here that there are some icons, including a button that says play. And also these buttons that allow you to advance frame by frame, and you can drag the frame around if you want. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it right to the frame, in this case, where the thing starts happening that I'm interested in. That is to say, the ball is released. Then I'm going to go to this icon on the lower right of that panel, which um, if you hover over it says Enable or Disable Video Analysis. Now, this row of icons pops up on the right. And the first thing that I think I'll do is I'll set the scale. I'll tell Logger Pro what a meter looks like and there happens to be a meter stick right in this video here um, and so there it asks me how long is that green thing that I just indicated one meter um, if I had wanted to I maybe could have used the height of the window or the length of the desk um, although actually that wouldn't have been good because the thing that I need to indicate uh, the length of must be in the same plane away from the camera as the object that we're tracking, in this case, the ball. After I indicate the scale, I'm going to set the origin, and why don't I set it right there in the middle of the ball. And I think there might be a slight tilt to the camera, so I'm going to drag this origin so that um, it's square with the frame, um, or so that it's, well, let's see, that's not really ceiling. Maybe straight horizontal is the way. But the way that you can um, tilt the axis is by grabbing onto that yellow dot and twisting. Okay, then I will select add point. And I'll go like that. And you'll see that after I clicked right in the center of the ball, that's where I'm tracking, right? The center of the ball. Um, it advanced to the next frame automatically. And so now I'll uh, click where the center of the ball is in this frame. And then I will just keep doing that over and over. And you'll see that it's doing some graphing in the window behind. It's a little blurry, so I'm just doing the best that I can at indicating where I would estimate the center of the ball is. And probably won't include this one, uh, this frame, because I see it squashed against the ground a little bit. So I'm done indicating where those points are. If I want, I can still go back up through it. If I want, I should be able to um, hover above this topmost icon. If there was one that I didn't like, one that I um, sort of did a bad job indicating where it is, I can click that and then highlight this point should be able to select the point and delete it that way. Hmm. Yeah, okay, there it is. I just had to click right on it. And okay, so now I can click all these points and highlight them and I could press the delete key if I wanted to delete them. Okay, very good. So let's ignore this movie for a second and take a look at this graph that we have. What's being graphed? I see here X and Y, the vertical and the horizontal position. I can change what's being graphed, say, to just Y by left-clicking on that X and Y and choosing Y. Okay, now only Y is being displayed. I can go to Insert Graph to add another graph, and that sort of displays the Y velocity there. Um, if I want to arrange these nicely, I can go to Page Auto Arrange, 
or hit Command R, that would be the same thing. Okay, now I have um, this data that's an analysis of where the ball is in the video.